The finish line is now in sight for high school swimmers, volleyball, and football players. They can resume practicing next week and will finish their tournaments in January. Yeah, pretty exciting. Jack Doe's goes one on one with Mark Ewell, the executive director of the Michigan High School Athletic Association, to find out how and why they're able to make this happen. Uh, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services has added swimming, volleyball, and football to its rapid testing pilot program. Mark Yule joins us now. Mark, how much of a game changer was that for the kids in your quest to give them closure for this fall season? Really, the testing avenue uh, really changed the game. You know, we've been advocating for our fall kids to be able to finish um, their tournaments for winter to get started um, just as soon as possible. Um, but this development that got shared with us uh, here earlier today about uh, health and human services uh, having more access to rapid testing than they have before and being able um, to use rapid testing when schools reopen in January and uh, the department is looking for a small set of kids, uh, a small number of schools to be able to kind of test as a pilot program in that uh, really at their suggestion became um, the, the finish line for our fall sports to be able to finish. So we're uh, very grateful uh, to Health and Human Services for making uh, the rapid testing option um, available to our volleyball, swimming, football kids. So we're deep into these uh, seasons now and there's a limited number of schools in these programs. Is there a cost to them? So no, the, uh, the MDHHS is uh, making the rapid test available to our schools free of charge, uh, which was a wonderful thing. Again, they're really looking to collect um, some data and information on the rapid testing that we're gonna conduct with our sports over the next 28 to 29 days. Did having a vaccine have something to do with this being made available to you? What was shared with us is where the, the rapid testing, where, where it became much more available, is the fact that vaccinations are currently uh, ongoing in nursing homes. Nursing homes were getting, as it was explained to us, many of the rapid tests up to this point, and it was really uh, the vaccine and the change in dynamic um, in, that, uh, in, in that community that is making it uh, available to us. I know winter sport athletes anxiously, anxiously await a roadmap here. Are you confident that they'll still have some kind of a season? What is it gonna look like? So we're gonna uh, make every plan here to begin winter sports on the day that the current order expires, which is on January the 16th. We're gonna look to put our tournaments uh, all in late March to try and create a five, six, and even seven week regular season uh, window for our winter teams, and then be able to finish it with uh, some sort of a state tournament experience. So uh, we're continuing to advocate and fight for our winter teams. And uh, we believe uh, there's a plan ahead of us that that uh, is going to work.